let's take the next major structure to be seen in this discussion namely the facial nerve at this stage of discussion namely the area being covered is a deep dissection of the face it is natural to uh, keep the parotid gland intact and dissect only the facial nerve as it emerges from the anterior border of the parotid gland in tune with this trend let's take a look at the specimen here is a specimen where the parotid gland has been removed to show the facial nerve in full continuity you can see the stem of the facial nerve and its branchings we'll come to that a little later but let's go from uh, what we have already seen in the previous discussion namely let's put the parotid gland digitally back and then review the emerging nerves thereafter we will trace it uh, through the parotid gland and uh, see its uh, continuity with the stem so the parotid gland has been put back keeping that in position let's take on a typical textbook description of the facial nerve branches i repeat what i am now presenting is a typical textbook description what you actually see in, in this specimen may not exactly fit i will tell you the degree to which it varies here but then this kind of variation is seen in almost all the specimens it's very rare to give to get an 100% typical textbook description for example one common variant is every nerve that i am talking of may actually be in two or three and these nerves are not individual they also mix up with the sensory branches of the trigeminal nerve the end result you, what you get here is a plexus of nerves so it is entirely very very difficult to get the facial nerve in its uh, uh, isolation so keeping that in the backdrop let's try to identify some of the important nerves emerging from the anterior margin of the parotid gland first one is the uh, temporal branches of the facial nerve temporal branches of the facial nerve it goes to supply the frontal belly of the occipital frontalis and the upper part of orbicularis oculi muscle similarly that is the zygomatic branch sometimes the zygomatic can be in two branches called the upper zygomatic and as shown here the lower zygomatic in a textbook description it is generally shown as a single nerve similarly next branch is the buccal nerve buccal nerve can also be in twos or threes but generally as you see in a textbook it is divided into superficial and deep the superficial nerve is generally single but the deep nerve is divided into an upper nerve and a lower division next now that was the buccal the next nerve we have highlighted is the marginal mandibular nerve this now for a short course as it comes out of the parotid goes to the neck region and then returns back to the mandible this is in the region immediately behind the angle of the mandible for a for a short distance it goes below then it winds back and returns to the uh, mandibular region that is the marginal mandibular branch finally the last nerve shown here in slightly thicker thing is the cervical branch of the facial nerve that goes to the neck now these are the five major branches of the facial nerve which ultimately emerge from the anterior margin of the parotid gland temporal zygomatic buccal marginal mandibular and cervical we will proceed now by removing the parotid gland and trying to trace the continuity of these nerves to the stem of the facial nerve now that will be the focus of this uh, next few slides see now i have removed the parotid gland you can see how these structures are being uh, in continuity with structures posteriorly now let's continue the discussion 
you can see they are marked uh, at the upper part of the sternomastoid muscle the stem of the facial nerve and that small twig down is the branch going to the posterior belly of the digastric what I have shown here is the facial nerve immediately as it emerges from the sterno stylomastoid foramen as soon as it emerges it immediately gives a branch to the posterior belly of the digastric more posteriorly is the mastoid process not seen in this dissection this stem of the facial nerve is a short runs for a short distance immediately divides into an upper division and a lower division that is the upper division called the temporozygomatic branch I repeat that was the upper division called the temporozygomatic branch the second one now shown is the cervicofacial branch upper one is temporozygomatic the lower one is the cervicofacial branch from these the various branches are given off for example the upper division gives rise to temporal and zygomatic branches the other three uh, branches or their sub branches are ultimately given off from the lower division now you can see the next few um, uh, steps will show the continuity of these nerves with the uh, parent stem see that that's the completion that's the completion that's the completion see that's how the marginal mandibular joins